The 2010 Green Bay Packers season was the 92nd season overall and their 90th season in the National Football League. Although they finished with only a respectable 10-6 record. Good for a second-place finish in the NFC North. The Packers never lost a game by more than four points. And never trailed by more than seven the entire season. Becoming the only team since the AFL-NFL merger in 1970 to accomplish this. All six of their regular season losses were by a combined 20 points. They entered the playoffs as the NFC's sixth seed. After defeating the Philadelphia Eagles 21-16 in the wildcard round. The Atlanta Falcons 48-21 in the divisional round and longtime rivals. Chicago Bears 21-14 in the NFC Championship. The team advanced to Super Bowl 45 in which they faced the AFC's second seed Pittsburgh Steelers. The Packers defeated the Steelers 31-25 to win their fourth Super Bowl and 13th NFL Championship. The Packers became the second overall team after the 2005 Pittsburgh Steelers. And the first NFC team to win the Super Bowl as a sixth seed. As well as becoming the second NFC team to win three straight road playoff games. The Packers' offense ranked 9th in yards per game, 10th in total points, and 5th in passing yards. The defense ranked 5th in yards allowed and finished 2nd in fewest points allowed, while also limiting quarterbacks to a 67.2 passer rating, 1st in the league. After finishing the 2009 season with an 11-5 record, the Packers held the 23rd selection in the 2010 NFL Draft. With the pick they selected offensive tackle Brian Bulaga from Iowa. On the second day of the draft, with pick 2-56 the Packers selected defensive end Mike Neal from Purdue. The Packers then traded picks 3-86 and 4-122 to the Philadelphia Eagles for pick 3-71. With pick 3-71, the Packers selected safety Morgan Burnett from Georgia Tech. On the third and final day of the draft, with pick 5 to 154, the Packers selected tight end Andrew Qualis from Penn State. With their compensatory selection pick 5 to 169, the Packers selected offensive guard Marshall Newhouse from Texas Christian. In the sixth round with pick 6 to 193, the Packers selected running back James Starks from Buffalo. Their final selection of the draft came when the Packers selected defensive end C. J. Wilson of East Carolina with pick 7 to 230. Following the 2010 NFL draft, the Packers signed 11 undrafted free agents. They were, on May 3rd, the Packers signed wide receiver Sean Gore, safety Anthony Levine, and nose tackle Alaric Mullins after they attended a mini camp on a tryout. Bases, notes. Running backs wide receivers tight ends defensive linemen defensive backs special teams practice. Squad rookies in Atalex 53 active. 17 inactive. 9 practice squad head coaches offensive coaches defensive coaches special teams coaches strength. And conditioning the Packers began their season at Lincoln Financial Field against the Philadelphia. Eagles. Who were wearing throwback uniforms commemorating the 50th anniversary of the team's victory over. The Packers in the 1960 NFL Championship game. Green Bay trailed in the first quarter as Eagles kicker David Akers made a 45-yard field goal. The Packers would then take control in the second quarter as kicker Mason Crosby nailed a 49-yard field goal, followed by quarterback Aaron Rodgers completing a 6-yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Donald. Driver, Crosby would then end the half with a 56-yard field goal. Eagles starting quarterback Kevin Kolb left the game with concussion at halftime and was replaced by second-string quarterback Michael Wick for the remainder of the contest. Philadelphia would respond in the third quarter as running back LeSean McCoy scored on a 12-yard touchdown run, yet Green Bay came right back with Rogers finding wide receiver Greg Jennings on a 32-yard touchdown pass. The Eagles tried to rally in the fourth quarter as quarterback Michael Wick completed a 17-yard Touchdown pass to wide receiver Jeremy Mucklin, followed by a 24-yard field goal from Akers. Fortunately, 
The Packers' defense prevented any further progress stopping Michael Wick on a key fourth and one rush. Up the middle for no gain. With the win, Green Bay not only began its season at 1-0, but also got its first victory in Philadelphia since 1962. However, the Packers' victory was not without cost during the game. Justin Harrell injured his ACL and Ryan Grant injured his ankle. Both players were placed on injured reserve for the rest of the season. Hoping to continue their current winning streak, the Packers returned to Lambeau Field for their home opener, an interconference duel with the Buffalo Bills. In the first quarter Green Bay took the early lead as kicker Mason Crosby made two field goals from 44 and 24 yards. RB Brandon Jackson added a touchdown on a one-yard run. The Bills then answered in the second quarter when RB Fred Jackson scored a touchdown on a three-yard run. In the third quarter the Packers increased their lead when W.R. Donald Driver hauled in.